Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For t today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to crochet this lovely stitch, stitch using my uh, yarn from my stash. I'm calling this the, uh, the crisscross stitch. Because when you look at it at the first time, it looks like a crisscross. But it's more like a granny spike stitch, <laughs> whichever you call it. But it's, uh, I really like how it turned out. And there's no holes when you look at it. <laughs> when you look at it. It's a granny stitch, actually. It's just three double crochets. That's all you do. But there's a trick. So I'm going to show you how to do it how to use the different uh, techniques to create this lovely stitch. And I, I, I am planning to make a scarf, but this is too small. So I'm gonna uh, crochet it uh, a little bit wider. So you need to crochet multiple of six. You need to chain multiple of six plus three chains to create this uh, stitch. On this one, I did 30. Oh, this is the wrong side. I did 30 chain plus 3. Just like this. So, But what I'm planning to redo is uh, ch chain 36. So 6 times 6 plus 3, 39. So I'm going to chain 39 and I'll come you come back to show you how it's done but I just want to give you some information about this uh, these three different lovely yarns that I have ha hand dyed with uh, <laughs> uh, food coloring and uh, blueberry so stay tuned I have dyed these yarns from uh, okay I'll start with uh, this one it was a kool-aid and I mix it with other colors I can't remember. I was play, playing around with it. So what I did is I put these two. These are my hand spun rabbit. I hand spun them with rabbit fiber. And I did two ply. And then I have, uh, I have plenty of these. So I just wanted to use them up because I want to... Uh, been more <laughs> to use them up what I did is as you can see the color it's been changing so I uh, I used Kool-Aid and then other colors I can't remember like and then this what turned out and then I was searching it said if you dye with blueberry <laughs> that's what I did so I put blueberry and I put a little bit of a red food coloring and I think I put extra other colors I can't remember and then this color turned up but I noticed uh, it, it pulled this these colors out of the see I can't even see the blueberry that are stuck here see <laughs> I even washed it with hot hot water but it looks like yeah it's pretty soft so what to what, what uh, uh, in the pan I saw more color so I grabbed these two skeins in the same dye so this what uh, it dyed this color these two, two skeins of yarn <laughs> isn't it funny so first it dyed this color and then I still have a little bit green here as you can see but it's it's from blueberry like regular fro I uh, I bought uh, I had a bag of uh, blueberry well I didn't use the whole entire bag it was like two handfuls and I uh, I had it uh, sitting on the counter so it would just room temperature it just melted and I put it in the pan you can see the green in here a little bit green but this was uh, I don't know if I can do it again but I did add other uh, food coloring, like red, red food coloring, I remember. I think I put yellow food coloring. Yeah, like I, I didn't write it down. I was just playing around with it. So these two came out of one pot. And then I have this color. 
So I thought to myself, what can I do with these? This has been sitting in front of me for months, at least for two months. I have to make something out of this. So what I'm going to make is I'm going to crochet. So what I'll do is let me uh, put these into a swift and then uh, I will uh, ball it into a cake and then I'll come back and we'll start it. So I want to use these three colors to make a scarf and then we'll go from there. It's super soft. Yeah, I can even make Okay, so I chained total of 39 stitches. Again, it's a multiple of six plus three. So on the fourth, I'm going to make a, and uh, the crochet hook, I grabbed the wrong crochet hook. The crochet hook that I'm using is the 3.5 crochet hook. So on the fourth, I'm going to, on the fourth chain, one, two, three, fourth, I'm going to make a double crochet. So this uh, three chain that we make, multiple six plus three, so this three chain is considered as one double crochet. So on the next chain, I'm going to make a double crochet, I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to skip a total of three chains, two, three, and on one, two, three, on the fourth, I'm going to make a double crochet <laughs> sorry one two three four the yarn that I spun is uh, thin and thick so that's why it's uh, now it's tiny the chains are tiny okay so the second I make another double crochet and on the third chain I make a double crochet again I chain one and then I skip one two three on the fourth I make a double crochet so I repeat what we do all the way to the end next we make another double crochet it's like making granny stitches three double crochet and then we chain one we skip four three one two three on the fourth we make a double crochet just be sure to skip three. Oh, I think I skipped four didn't I uh, that's one two three that's correct I skip three and then on the next, okay, I, I will meet you at the end. I'm just repeating. And this is how it looks like so far. So I made my last three double crochets. And what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to chain five. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to turn my work. And then I'm going to make a double crochet where we did the one chain. And then this is how we do that granny spike stitch. So I go where we did the, the skip three. I go into the second chain where we did the skip three and I pull it. But try to pull it loose and then have that, uh, have a little bit height to it. And then do a double crochet. And on the third, we do a double crochet where we did the chain. I chain one. So when, when we're doing the th three double crochets, we always chain one. So I just repeat what we did. Just like this. Make a double crochet. Go down on the second chain. And then pull it as long as you can. Loosely. And then make a double crochet. And this is all to it. And then you make another double crochet, chain one. So continue crocheting and I'll meet you at the end. So I'm at the end and I did my three double crochets. Okay, I'm going to chain one. And then I'm just going to pop where where's the, remember we did the three chain to go up and then we did the double crochet. So on that chain, on that tip of that chain, I'm just going to make a double crochet. Oops, not a single crochet, a double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to change my color. And uh, I'm going to go with this color. Then I am going to pull 
then I'm going to chain three just like this so I'm going to continue crocheting what we did on the first row I'm going to make a double crochet and then I'm going to go at the bottom where we did the <clears throat> chain and then the two double crochet so on the, the second here on the that double crochet in the middle I'm going to make a double uh, spiky double crochet and then the third one finish it up with the third chain one and then repeat that go in the middle of the where the three double crochet is not the one but the second just go between that V there and then just grab it just like this and then pull it loosely up and then finish it with a double crochet like make it make it as a double crochet and then finish it the third double crochet chain one so this is all to it so I will let you crochet and this is how it looks like so far just pull it a little bit and then I will meet you here I'm at the end so I did my double crochet and then I did my spike double crochet so I'm doing my last one okay but I'm not going to finish this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double crochet on top of that remember five chain we did so we I only see these so on that tip just right here just gonna just grab a V secure it then make a double crochet the reason I'm doing this so it gives you that nice edge straight edge if you're making a baby blanket then it would be nice that's why we're making these uh, chains to give that nice uh, it looks like a double crochet gives you a double crochet look it gives you that nice straight edge so that's very important now we're going to chain five one two three four five and then we're going to just jump and then crochet just like this so I'm just repeating what we have been doing nothing nothing chain one always between don't forget the chain one so I'm just repeating what we have been doing it's a very easy it's relaxing you can watch TV you can watch movies you can watch games and you won't forget you don't have to count anything this is all you do it's very easy it's very very nice let's go between it looks fantastic chain one then I will show you the yarn color change again yeah I'm making a scarf for the homeless and uh, I think this is perfect this wide this is perfect I dyed these color I have a container full of uh, hand spun that I did I was I bought the fiber the Angora rabbit fiber and I've been spinning I spin these when I was learning <laughs> you know when you start to learn something you keep on going until you say oh my god my containers full of hand spun yarn. <laughs> So I stopped doing that and um, I'm also selling them on my Etsy shop these this beautiful yarn that so I chained one but I'm going to chain two see when we're doing this we need to chain two so one is the regular chain that we did but we're finishing this and then I'm just gonna make a double crochet right here I'm not gonna finish it because I'm going to change my color remember when you're changing the color if you forget when you change the color always chain two when you're turning around with the same color chain five so that's another tip that uh, you won't get confused <laughs> okay
Okay, let me find this uh, end of the yarn and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grab my other co color and then I go loosely and later on you can weave them or you can go and make a single crochet. Then I chain three to go up. Remember that's what we did here. Just repeating what we've been doing. We've been chaining here. Then I turn my work and I make a double crochet. Then I make another double crochet. Just like this. So I am going to continue crocheting and I will come back to show you. I will crochet a couple of rows. Like this is all you do. You do one chain, three double crochets. But the second double crochet is a, you pull it. So don't forget to do that. If you don't, then it would be just regular granny stitches. <laughs> Holes in the middle. So go bump at the bottom. Pull it loosely. Then chain one. And then when you come here, you just do three and then you do one double crochet. Don't forget the one double crochet at the end to give that nice edge. And I will do a couple of rows. And I will come back to show you how to finish it to give that nice straight uh, top like the bottom we did with no holes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have crocheted a couple of rows just to give you an idea how it looks like. So I'm just finishing the last one. Last piece here I did my... Um, if you see that the hole is too big, what you can do is... I've been doing this, so I've been moving around. It happens because uh, the, there's too many chains, right? So what you can do is just move it a little bit further. And then... Just like this, so it will give you a... Then make your last... Don't forget to make your last double crochet to give that nice edge look. Plus the three that we always do. And then what I'm going to do is... If let's say you finished your blanket and you just want to finish it, but you don't want this to look right. So what we do is we turn, we chain one, turn our work, and we do single crochets on top of the double crochets that we see, just like this. And then on here we go, we do the spike, we pull it. So this way we cover that hole and then it gives you that height and then we just continue making single crochets all the way. Then you make your uh, last one. Try to pick up that V, that do that two V, so it, the, and then pull it. So you make a double crochet, not a single crochet on that spike. And then you make single crochets just like this and then you go again all the way and then it gives you that nice uh, see how it looks no holes nothing it's better than this <laughs> just like this so I, wa I want to show you also let's say you have finished your baby blanket and then and then you have these yarns but you want to get rid of it like when you do a border, right? You can uh, do single crochet and then uh, finish it up and then it will be hide. Like when you do single crochets, I'll show it to you. I'll come here and I'll show how it's done. Okay, so let's say um, how to hide these. Well, I'm still using these yarns, so I'm just going to pull this here. And then what we're going to do is when you do the corner, you always chain two or chain one, right? So we want to give that nice uh, corner. And you just do single crochets. You chain one and then you just weave them between just like this. You go between and then you make single crochets or double crochets and then go between just like this and then you keep this here and then you weave them underneath and you won't see anything 
just like this. Chain one. And this is how it looks like, nice and clean. And then you won't see any yarn all over the place. So I hope you like this short tutorial that I wanted to share with you and my beautiful hand spun yarn that is dyed, can you believe it, with food coloring. Especially this green, I couldn't believe how dark it was. Because usually when you dye Angora Rabbit yarn, it's usually pastel that comes out. But I really like this, so I don't know what I'm going to do in the next future. <laughs> okay, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy crocheting!